Colleagues, um, I have a problem, and Senator Dix, I know I have many of them, but one in which I think you could help me with, at least I'm asking for your help. Last year, we passed uh, legislation that allowed convenience stores to sell liquor. At that time, I asked for an amendment that would allow the city of Des Moines to enter into uh, the discussion and allow them to uh, deny, if it's reasonable, in our neighborhoods. At the time, I identified a couple of areas in the city that would have some problems. I'm going to be looking for an amendment through probably a, a department bill to add um, the amendment in, in a little broader sense, as I did last year, that allows cities to deny permits if they think they have reasonable cause that it would add disruption to a neighborhood for good reasons. Uh, just this last week, a neighborhood in, in my district went to the city council and asked for their support to deny a uh, liquor license to a quick trip. They don't have that authority. The city unanimously is proposing that they may have to sue one of their own boards to prevent a liquor license from being established in that vicinity. I don't think that's what we're here for. I think we want to be able to provide local government the tools to work with their residents on a case-by-case -case basis to identify an area that may need uh, uh, more policing and at times maybe even denying a liquor license at a convenience store. Now last year I didn't succeed because it was a quick response that you thought that maybe we would be denying liquor stores through quick trips in rural areas. I personally believe that there is a real need for quick trips and convenience stores to have this, this, uh, this opportunity to sell liquor in rural areas. You drive way too long to get, a, to get some liquor, getting something closer to home would be appropriate. But in a larger city, where they may be just 10 blocks away from another facility, it would be much more appropriate when it's more evenly policed, where it's um, easier uh, for neighborhoods to control their own areas of crime and to allow, I think, the neighborhoods to be able to work with their local elected official, officials to say that we have an unstable neighborhood and a liquor license and a convenience store would just add more disruption. That's what we want government to do. That's how we want government to work with our citizens and our businesses. In this particular case, it's just not the neighborhood. It's small businesses all around this convenience store that are asking the city council to, to help them prevent liquor being sold at this particular place in the city of Des Moines. I will be joining city, uh, the mayor and city councilman tomorrow to work with the convenience store, asking them to voluntarily not place liquor in this facility. That probably won't work. Our only option is to take them to district court. I don't think that is what this law or what we should force residents or the city to do. And I'll be asking for your help sometime in the future so that we can settle an issue that involves empowering the neighborhoods, empowering small businesses, empowering city councils to look at how we could stabilize neighborhoods and not disrupt them. Thank you, Mr. President.